Hi, it's Wednesday, so we're baking. It's November, and for me that means pumpkin pie, not just on Thanksgiving, but all month long. <laughs> um, I have a great pie recipe to share with you, um, but today we're going to start with just the dough. Um, this recipe can be used to make two pie rounds, so you can use it for two pumpkin pies that only have a bottom crust, or one apple pie, for example, where you need a crust for the bottom and then a second crust for the top. Um, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure out two cups of flour. And to that we're going to add a third of a cup of shortening and a third of a cup of butter. So for your shortening, press it into your measuring cup like that. Looks good. Use your silicon spurtle to scrape it out of that measuring cup. Get it all. <clears throat> and then with your medium sized spurtle, just kind of break that shortening up into smaller pieces. I don't like to make my pie dough in the food processor because honestly it's just too much mess to clean up. <laughs> I don't like having a sink full of all of those um, food processor parts to wash. Okay, and we're gonna add a third of a cup of butter. Um, so I've already measured it out <clears throat> when I cut the stick and then I'm just going to cut away with my paring knife, shave small pieces. I really don't like using a pastry blender, it just doesn't quite feel right in my hands for some reason. Um, and I, I really don't like using a fork and a knife. So rather than cutting in the butter after I add it, I cut it in as it's being added. All right, so we have our shortening in here and our butter. We're gonna add three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Um, and then just use your silicone spurtle to kind of finish combining that shortening flour, butter, and salt. It doesn't take much work with your spurtle because we've already cut the butter. Just a little bit of stirring and combining and you can see we've got that texture that you're looking for. Small pea-sized crumbled bits. That looks great. Then the last step is to add your water. Um, we've got a half a cup of water here with some ice added to it and you're going to take your small spurtle and just start in one section and pour a little bit of water, that cold ice water, kind of combine it with some dough there and move on to the next section. And you'll just continue like this around the bowl adding water and combining it in small amounts with the flour. Once you get all the way back around to the other side, <clears throat> just look for kind of dry pockets to use the rest of that half cup of water in. We've used almost all of it and this is looking really good. 
I used to use a fork for this step and the dough would get so caught up in the fork. It was just a big ball of dough attached to the fork in the end. The silicone spurtle is really nice for working with this kind of recipe. That's it. Our dough is ready to be turned out onto the counter and pressed into rounds. And I'm gonna measure this um, dough so I know exactly how much half of it is. One pound, three ounces. So we're gonna look for nine and a half ounces of dough for each um, round that we make. Lay a piece of plastic wrap over your workspace. All right, that's nine and a half ounces. And then just press this down with your Chauvin wrap. into about a half inch thick round. We're ready for the second half. Lay down your plastic wrap. Pour out the rest of your dough. looks great. You can see all the chunks of butter in that dough. That's where all that flakiness is going to come from. These are ready to go into the fridge. They need to stay in the fridge for, for at least an hour. Um, you can even leave them in overnight before you roll them out into beautiful pie crust. <laughs>